Hi, I'm Dr. Leonard Bright. I lost my case in court, but I won it in my workplace. In this video, I will discuss how. In most cases, courts are the home court advantage for your organization. Most organizations have done hundreds of lawsuits. Most likely, they're not afraid of yours. Some organizations employ dozens of lawyers whose whole job is to defend their organization in court. While a court may rule in your favor, for many lawsuits, this is unlikely. The problems of discrimination, retaliation, are hard to prove in that kind of environment. You can lose in court and still win, but you will have to stay active in your organization. They benefit from your silence. They don't want others within your organization to know what's happening to you. If you play along with that strategy, you will miss many internal opportunities that you have to put pressure on your organization to respond appropriately to your case. They may win in court, but that does not remove the pressure from them to address your issues. In my case, I filed a discrimination and retaliation lawsuit against Texas A&M. In response, the university filed a plea to the jurisdiction motion and the court dismissed my case with prejudice. However, I did not stop fighting my case internally within my organization. Over a period of at least three years as my case moved through the courts, I also filed internal grievances to address my complaints and the grievance committees agreed with me. As a result, these committees made very strong recommendations to the university that my work environment be corrected. Based on my experience, stay active and stay vocal within your organization. This may include filing internal grievances, asking for follow-up, because most likely this is where you will get your biggest gains. Thank you for watching. And remember to subscribe to my channel to receive updates on when new videos are available. I really enjoy addressing these kinds of workplace problems and hope that you stay encouraged and know that you too can make it through.